cleaning up a lot of the old spot weld stuff. I just took some stuff up here. These old little mounts. So Dom's grinding everything down and smoothing it all out. And then we are gonna get into the anti-intrusion bars and potentially fixing uh, this frame rail since we got fresh frame rails from Toyota. I know we pulled it out already and everything lines up, but we can put a fresh one in and then just not even worry about it. That gross bend won't even be in the car anymore. It'll be perfect. Dom's been jamming. Uh, what are you doing? Making <laughs> the floor plates for the uh, intrusion bars. The intrusion bars? It should go there. Well, he's in there. All right. Those look good. Those look good. Did you film yourself making those or? No. <laughs> I wasn't here to hold the camera, so a bunch of got done. That's all good. Plenty more to show you. So basically what the intrusion bars do is there's two bars that come off of here and I kind of come to a point in the front of the chassis so that if a tire or you hit a wall, nothing can come through the firewall here. Uh, Cause right on the other side of this is the wheel well. And that has actually happened before. I think it happened to Matt Powers in New Jersey where a tire actually came through and like almost, you know, hurt his feet, hurt his leg, could have broken his ankle. Luckily it didn't. Uh, but just one of those scenarios that easily could have been avoided if it had these intrusion bars. So, something we're gonna do. Can't really skimp on safety, even though I seem to find myself doing that quite a bit when I'm building cars, so try to smarten up. the rear HGK over fenders on. Uh, first, we have to fill this hole because if we didn't, you know exactly where all the smoke would be going. It would be all in your face. And uh, we try to do as much as we can and try to keep the smoke out of the cabin. Um, so Dom's making a template to fill this hole right here. And then we'll get some over fenders on it.
reinforce it in once you're after ready. you start tacking it, right? Yeah. So this all sticks out pretty good. So you got to kind of, as you tack it around, just tap it all into place so you can give it a nice weld, and then we'll seam seal it. seam sealer so that hopefully no smoke gets in there. This is a lot better than RTV. It's a lot heavier, thicker when it dries. I'm gonna smooth this out with my finger afterwards, but just got a thick coat on here. Yo, guys, all right, we're looking really good on this thing. Uh, made a bunch of progress. Dom had to head home to finish a bunch of customer work. He had to refinish a ton of wheels. So he'll be back as soon as, um, I guess, everything calms down in the world. Obviously, we're all dealing with the coronavirus situation here in LA. The governor said that he doesn't want anybody out of the house. So I just come here to RS to kind of work out and then go home, and that's basically it. I uh, just want to give you guys a quick update on what we did to the car and uh, where we're going to be headed in the next coming videos. Uh, so obviously we got the fuel, the fuel cell in, uh, the crash bar, the side replaceable crash bars are in. These are sweet. Dom did a great job on these. They're all seam sealed. So there's gonna be a lot less smoke getting into the cab and there's still a couple areas that we have to just tape up just cause we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna cut a small piece of metal and weld it on to patch those up. So we'll just do a little, um, a little piece of tape on there. Uh, going to the interior, obviously the steering columns in, it's looking good. The intrusion bars, those came out really good, obviously, cause Dom did it. So what we're gonna be doing uh, next would be the Mishimoto radiator, which we modify into a triple pass. And that's gonna go right about here. So there's gonna be an inlet right here. So we kind of cut this back window area in half where we have a bar that goes across to there. And then we cut a custom piece of plexiglass that'll go up top. And then there'll be a big air gap, um, probably about from here to here for the radiator to, um, to grab fresh air from. And that'll be kind of leaned back on tilted a little bit. And then down here, there's gonna be an aluminum piece of sheet metal that we put down there that's nice and clean that we'll cut some nice holes for for the uh, vibrant uh, AN line to come through. That'll be dash 16. When we get finished with that, we'll come to the front and then I'm just waiting for this frame rail to come in from Toyota. So instead of leaving us here, we decided it's kinda, you know, since it kinda tore itself right there, we decided we need to replace it. So we're gonna cut it off right here. And we got all the proper measurements from a uh, from a friend of mine. Um, so we're gonna be able to do this super proper. We know all the measurements uh, and the points to measure from so that when you uh, weld a new piece on, uh, this lower pickup point will be um, in its exact location where it should be from the factory. And then for this stuff, which is kind of beat up and was like kind of crappy tack welded together from the other guy, uh, we're just gonna cut this off we're gonna put a nice uh, probably square bar in here that welds to this side and just make it super clean, make it proper. We're kind of going the extra mile with this thing for being a practice car anyways. So might as well just make it as good as we can. And Dom doesn't like cutting corners at all. So uh, kind of just going with the flow with him and let him do his thing and work his magic like he usually does and um, make this thing mint. Why not, you know? There's one thing I did want to share with you guys. Uh, you're not gonna see this for another until another episode, but I just picked these up today uh, from Rotaform. These are for the GT4586, I'm super pumped. These are the ZMO-Ms. And uh, for this wheel, I decided 
to go with less lip and mega concave. So let me try to get a good angle on it for you so you can see it, but uh, maybe it's better in the light over here. Yeah, there we go. So you can kind of see all the concave. This is a negative 22, 18, 11. And uh, what, it's got like maybe an inch and a you know, two inch lip on it. So mega concave. I think it's gonna look great on the GT4586, something fresh on it. Little stretch on the tire. We're gonna run a 275, 40, 18 Nitto, NT555. And man, I'm pumped, dude. Like get the black, black on the inner so you don't see all the brake dust. Gun metal on the face. You guys will see this, see these things doing a burnout in a GT4586 down at the Blackout Garage. Pretty soon, pretty soon. Hopefully on the next episode, we'll see. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this episode. Uh, like, subscribe, leave some comments below. Gonna do a response video and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.